is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Y'all, I had started the reading and then I got a call that I had to take, okay? I had to take, unfortunately, uh, my brother's in jail, honey. And got arrested, child. So I had to take that call to talk to him. Um, but he all right, honey. He'll get out when we when he get out, child. Okay. <laughs> do the crime, do the time. But anyway... <laughs> So, sorry. That's just how I am. You do the crime, you do the time, baby. We all got the serve time, okay? Thankfully, I ain't been in jail. Ooh, thank God. But, I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> like, honey, I be life be life it over here, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> but anyway, so I had started the reading, and I got two cards out, okay? And then the call came in, so I had to stop. I'm not redoing the, 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 the start off of the reading because it, it's actually a good reading, I believe. It's going to really tap in on something. So let me pull these cards back out. So when I shuffled, I started with this deck here and I got dating, whining, dining, and romance. There's this energy of somebody wanting to, my nose is itching like crazy, of somebody wanting to date you, wanting to court you, wanting to take you out. Something about the moon, a full moon could be of significant or wine, okay? Maybe somebody, maybe even somebody want to do the little thing where they clink glasses, okay? Or did a little arm wraparound thing. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but something about dating. Now, I did see at the top of the deck, we have mature man, freedom, and then we have friendship. And then I went further and got the passion card. So this person, y'all, there could be an age gap. Okay. For some of y'all. Um, But this is also like maybe y'all run in the same clique or like y'all have um, acquaintances or y'all know people like you and this person know the same people or something like that. But this person, or maybe, I don't know if somebody was involved with a person uh, that you might've known or something. I don't know, something like that. But um, with the fair male, there could have been another person involved, or this is somebody wanting to come towards you in this light energy, taking things light, taking things slow, not being too heavy or too serious, right? Like, you know, hey, let me approach Scorpio, see what's going on. If Scorpio's interested, da 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 Okay, or this could be you. You could be the masculine going towards somebody or the feminine going towards whichever. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. But some, but it's deep. Like somebody's really passionate towards each other. There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passionate feeling here, a lot of attraction. Okay. But then I pulled the other deck, which was this one. Okay. It's a cosmic insight. And I got someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So something could have to do with somebody already being in a relationship or in a connection, okay? But this could also be third-party interference. Like, it could be anything. It don't have to be another person, although there's another person on there. But it don't have to be another person. This could actually be somebody's work, family, friends, uh, money, um, a pet, a uh, child. I don't know. Some, you ever meet somebody and they pet don't like you? Child, you don't want to go over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dog don't like you. Like <laughs> You're like, oh, you want me to come over there? Well, last time your dog tried to bite me. I don't think that's a lot. Oh my gosh. When I thought of that, I just thought of this video that's going on on Facebook. I pulled it up and this is why I, I don't hardly be on Facebook anymore like that. But I pulled it up and this dude was being attacked. It said he was being attacked by his own dog. Oh my God, child. It was, all I know is I seen booty cheeks and a dog attacking him on his arm. Like, ah, child, it was, it was enough. It was, it was I, honey, I closed down Facebook, okay? I may even get... I don't want to get off of there because I want to make it more about, like, tarot and stuff like that, but my goodness, okay? Cycles. Fate, karma, something, ending, something, beginning. So there's some sort of karma or something that's playing out. Either it's like a karmic cycle. Um, could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got gambling. This person could have bad problems, like with finances or... They just take risky, uh, take risk in something or something like that. Or this could be you. You are deciding to jump away from something or being optimistic about ending a cycle. Okay. But there's something, somebody could be going through some sort of karma here or having to pay out some sort of karma. It could have to do with a third party situation. Mm -hmm. Now say, now say this was you, because I mean, this could be anything. Somebody could have been dating somebody and then. I don't know, maybe you're the family member, the friend or something like that. And you knew that they was dating and then they, something happened and then you got pulled into it. I, I don't know. But narcissist energy. Someone is too full of themselves and challenges. Make a decision, work on inner healing. Some of y'all are still healing from this narcissistic energy. Whoever, whatever situation this was, this could have been very one-sided. You could have took the brunt of everything. Uh, 
you can be choosing to just heal from this person because this person is so full of themselves. They don't care about nobody. They don't care about their actions. This Again, this could have been somebody that put you in a third party situation all because they wanted to, to have their pleasures and have their cake and eat it too type of thing. Have their cake and eat it too, however you say it, okay? Um, and so you could still be healing from this, you know? Like, damn, because somebody was a liar. Just be careful someone's sneaky somebody could have been a liar they could have lied to you lied to people lied to i mean just they honey they not an upright person at all they're not an upright person so maybe you're being careful you're being cautious of this person because you cannot trust them maybe they put you in a third party situation you know they align line um you know butthole okay i'm just gonna say it like that and so you're just kind of keeping your distance you know so let's see what else is coming out. Hopefully the TV ain't too loud. Now. I'm trying to keep Ari distracted. Maybe it's no distracted here. Let's see what's going on. I tell you what. Let me get a couple of these cards first. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? And y'all, I made another deck. I have my homemade deck where it has the zodiac signs and the initials on it. Okay, I have that. But I also made another deck, and it's and I split them apart now and it has like certain things on it like types of cars color of eyes hair stuff like that okay so we'll do both of those y'all let me know if y'all enjoy those too that way i can incorporate them more all right let's see i have to watch all right she be pulling up my cards let's see what's going on scorpio energy what's going on with scorpio what's going on with scorpio, what's going on with scorpio? Yeah, obsession, infatuation, adoration, and addiction. Somebody could be obsessed or addicted to you, okay? Realizations, epiphanies, understanding, and awakenings. And that could be what it is. Like somebody's having to pay out some sort of karma or go through a karmic cycle because of what they did when it came to a third-party situation. It could be somebody that put you in a third-party situation that, that you were supposed to be dating and then they got with somebody else or they cheated or went behind your back. I don't know. Um, but somebody's starting to understand why they're dealing with this or why they're going through certain situations. We have boundaries. No, drawing the line enough. You may even be drawing the line with this person or you have boundaries set up with this person. And it's because you put me in a third party situation. So I'm not interested, you know, or you tried to drag me into your mess and I don't want to be in your mess. Okay. Uh, we have return second chance opportunity making amends. This person may want to return. They want a second chance with you. They want a new opportunity with you. They want to make amends with this situation. Like, I'm sorry. And they could be obsessing about this, okay? With this infatuation, adoration, and addiction. Like, to the point that they became, that they're becoming addicted to you, okay? Addicted to returning. Addicted to uh, making amends with you, you know? Mm. Okay. We have obscurity, secrets, mysteries, concealing. This person could have been very secretive. Okay, could have hid a lot, concealed a lot from you. Um, it was like a mystery with dealing with this person or this, or, or now you could be this type of energy towards this person because they don't have access to you like that anymore. Um, we have shallow, hollow, empty, and boredom. Mm, I don't like that because this person, whoo, girl, you about to flip the whole thing, baby. Wait a minute, a little strong, Seth. Yeah, you too strong, girl. Hold on now. You too strong. Hold on now. <laughs> you, you, you too strong. You can't do that. You go. You gonna knock it off? She talking that stuff. She hit my head like. Poof. That's why you almost fell. See there. I don't care about you saying that on. I don't care about you me. <laughs> anyway, hold on. Let me take something. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, some of y'all y'all are realizing y'all are either becoming bored with somebody or this person they just they maybe they got bored with a other option this could be the reason why they want to come back all of a sudden but you're realizing how like how of an empty vessel this person is or how shallow they are in some sort of way so you're starting to see like i'm better off without this person i'm actually happier without this person i can think clearly i can do more things okay that i don't have to deal with this person like jumbling up my head of me wondering what's wrong what did i do da, 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 is this person cheating da, 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 whatever right so you may feel like you're better off without this person here because this person keeps too many secrets or they keep you too much in a head fog or something like that child but this person definitely wants to come back for a second chance look what popped out y'all round and round cycles triggers and lessons so yeah some of y'all this person you've went many cycles with this person or you met 
like every time you you get involved with this person you go through some sort of karmic lesson and you're realizing like damn like okay i learned my lesson i'm not gonna do this no more what's going on with scorpio trap yeah you always seem to get trapped or drawn into this or if you get back involved with this person you're tr you're literally trapping yourself Jezebel, this could be somebody that is very promiscuous, that sleeps around. Like if you get involved with this person, maybe you end up with an STD or again, you have to end up thinking like, is this person cheating on me? Are they talking to somebody else? Are they involved with somebody? Like it's it's a mind freak, you know? Ugh, I would not want to be back in that no child. What's going on? Like it's giving me a headache just reading it. Living in the moment. Yeah, This see this person, they don't think long term no matter what it is they don't think long term like what could be the effects of it or what could happen backstab pain cheating deception mind games and love bomb this is the type of person they think oh i can do this i can do that and then i could come back in and love bomb you and then everything will be all right and it's it's not working this time yeah too late yeah there we go feelings they should have caught you when you gave a fuck okay <laughs> like, <laughs> bad credit debt and unemployed and then this person ain't got no money child if you don't get your you need to focus on getting your stuff together instead of focus on what uh scorpio over here doing <laughs> what's going on this scorpio karmic tie i told you you're karmically tied to this person in some sort of way whether it's with kids family bloodline something this person is a freaking karmic mess spiritual yep chaos ego death downward spiral spiritual awakening this this, this is what's going on or this is what needs to happen for this person. They need to go through some sort of ego death and realize that they don't control everything. This is a narcissistic asshole type of person. You know what I'm saying? They think, oh, I'm not answering that phone because you hung up on me. Nope. You're going to miss me this time, buddy. Uh, let's see. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Please, spirit. What's going on with Scorpio? We have bad news. Oh, wow. Shocking news. Okay. So, yeah, somebody could be receiving some sort of bad news or shocking news here. My way. Selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride, and ego. Yeah, somebody is very much in their ego. Very prideful. Um, they may realize, like, you know, a narcissistic person, they think they can control everything. But they can't. They cannot. What's going on? Scorpio energy. And so, somebody may be getting some sort of bad news, you know. Love message. And then reckless love or sex, okay? Ooh, child. Okay, so somebody could be wanting to express love or, or send you a message or something like that. Twin flames, yeah. This could be like a twin flame or somebody that you thought was your twin flame. I don't know, child. Why am I getting a headache like on this side of my head from this reading? Some of y'all, this person stressed you out. Like stressed you out or like, ugh, child. Illumination, truth, discovery, and awakening. Yeah, somebody may be having some sort of awakening here. I'm somebody, yeah, somebody's going through an awakening. Married. This could have been somebody that you're either married to or that was married or in a relationship or something like that. Um, yeah, first storm. Karma, drama, endings, lost, mental breakdown. This person is going through karma. This is somebody that's going through karma because either they were married to you, married to somebody else, and they did something. They, they did something. And now this person's having to awaken. <laughs> hey, Boosty. What's, it, what's going on? Yeah. Spirit is wanting you to love on yourself right now. We got divine feminine energy. Or somebody could be coming off like this divine feminine energy, but they shady as I don't know what. Yeah, police station at the bottom of the day. Somebody could be uh, going to jail or something about the police could be involved. Um... Or this is justice. This could be justice playing out too with the shady card. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, let's get a couple of these and see what comes out for this, okay? See what comes out for this. Let's see what comes out for this. You gonna fall. You better get down the right way. You gonna fall. And my friend called me and hung up on me and thought I was gonna answer again. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Not gonna do that. We was in the middle of conversation. Nope. What's going on? Should have caught me earlier. Motorcycle. Something about a motorcycle could be a significant. 
But yeah, gym or working out at home. Somebody could be starting like a new workout regimen or somebody starting to go to the gym. We have chapstick or lip gloss. Something about chapstick or lip gloss could be a significant phone call, a text message. Yes, that love message. Somebody could be calling you or texting you uh, dimples. Somebody could have dimples. My nose is itching again. Blue, red, white car or truck. Okay, something about a blue, red, white car or truck could be a significant. My handwriting looks terrible on that. Glasses or contacts. Somebody could wear glasses or contacts. Something about head wraps, head wraps and crown protection. Some of y'all need to make sure you're protecting your crown at this time, okay? Car and SUV. Yeah, somebody, something about a car and SUV and then chest tattoos. Somebody could have chest tattoos. Give me a couple more on this. Or something about chest tattoos could be a significant. We have beach day or lake day. Some of y'all need to take like a beach day or a lake day and just go out there and enjoy yourself. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Some of y'all need to eat more fruits or vegetables. And then white man or woman could be of significant. And let's get the initials here and see what we're dealing with or what zodiac signs are present at this time. Oh, my wrist is hurting. All right, let's see. What's going on? Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. What's going on with my Scorpio energy? All right, what's going on? Scorpio energy for your spirit. All right, bottom of the deck, T. We have J. August could be a significant M. T. Somebody's name could be MJ or JT. We have L. <clears throat> B. My name could be LB. Somebody, uh, something about a baby mama could be significant because we have BM there. Okay. Big mama, baby mama. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Aquarius, C, CJ, O. Somebody said could start with O. Libra, Leo, H, <laughs> E, <laughs> Pisces, Gemini, C, the month of June could be a significant, and then F, okay? So, J, M, T, B, L, C. Somebody could have a BBL. <laughs> Somebody BBL could be significant. A C, O. The C, O could be a significant. F, E. We have C, too. F, E. We have two Cs, F, E, and H. Something about a he or a guy. Somebody's name could be Faye. I like that name, Faye. Um, yeah, and then Gemini, August, June, Aquarius, Libra, Leo, and Pisces, and the initial T is at the bottom of the deck. So, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.